It's about 6.30 Saturday night. The sun is still up, but some cars are already lined up at the Jessup Drive-In. And why not? A lot of people are anxious for an old-fashioned experience that still allows them to see the latest films. They seem to love it. Most all of them come back again. <laughs> Tim Cockfield bought the drive-in in 1970 after it had been closed for 10 years. He and his son, also Tim, have kept it up ever since. I was three when my dad opened this, and so I, I remember coming here as a little kid playing around in the dirt, you know, when I was just real little. The two Tims have made this into a family-owned business that's known for miles around. I think there's about uh, four drive-ins left in Georgia. And there's somewhere around 300 left in the country, three or 400 left, which is, you know, not a lot. So this is the same old fashioned speaker that, um, you know, they had forever. Okay, um, and so you're saying that you can put this on your car, you'll get that tin. Yes, you hang it right on your car window. If you really want to take a trip down memory lane, you can park in the first two rows here and use the speaker that hangs onto your car window. But nostalgia also comes with Dolby sound. Most people use their car radios to just dial it in. Yeah, the front screen is 91.9 uh, okay. on the FM, and the back screen is 88.7 on FM. They have made a few changes, like adding a back screen. Um, we can hold about 200 cars on the front screen and 150 cars on the back screen. We have a lot of people come that never been to one before. And people come, I think we had somebody from Warner Robin at Macon one night, came just to go to drive in. So as twilight approaches, more moviegoers arrive. Of course, some early birds have gotten the best spots, but there are still plenty left. Casey Reese, a Fort Stewart wife whose husband is deployed, brings her two children. It's cheaper than going to the movie theater. It's something fun that they can kind of run around and do their own thing. And, you know, there's always tons of kids out here and I don't have to worry about making them be quiet or, you know, sit down or they're, you know, disturbing anybody else. So it's always really fun. Children play in the grass and make new friends while adults relax. In the case of Eric and Penny Wills and their daughter Nikki, this is kind of a last family outing. She's getting married next week and um, we'd always wanted to bring her to the drive-in. So we, this is our last weekend out. And there wasn't a drive-in probably in the last 24 years anywhere, right? Absolutely not. We've never found any. And he, we, we wanted to accomplish this, so here we are. And dozens of others have the same idea. Car after car arrives at the lot. The sun begins to tuck itself away. And finally, the headlights are on. So the cars are all lined up, dozens of them now, and everybody's anxious for this night of nostalgia to begin. All we need now is the most important ingredient, sundown. And what experience is just about the movie, really? Most here, don't forget the food. The concession stand is pretty much the way it was in 1970. Tim Sr. still helps out. I do the pop going on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. I'm vice president in charge of pop going. So there's business inside, and now even more moviegoers outside waiting and just maybe enjoying a hot dog. It's close to 8.30. Finally, it's time to hit the button on that projector. You know, there's not many drive-ins left, and so we try to offer a unique experience, and a lot of people have never been to a drive-in. and. For those tucked away cozy in their cars or those enjoying the night air, it may be about more than just watching a movie. It may be about something a little more fun, a little more simple. We're, we're thankful people continue to come. As long as they continue to come, we'll be here running it. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.